Okay. Now, uh, what I forgot to go over was some errors that might come up, or some some pop-ups that might come up when you just first when you first install this here. So, if you have a here, hold on a second. If you have just uh, installed this here, if you just just installed this program, and then we hit play here. The debug, start debugging. You'll get this box that comes up. It says, "Would you like to build it here?" Now, notice I named my uh, this project here called "Beginning Beginner Errors." Well, "Beginner Errors" goes right here, and it says "Debug 132." Do not worry about this. Just click this little checkbox that says "Do not show this dialog again," and hit yes. And then it starts to run here. And we get this here. And uh, huh, I never got this before. Okay, maybe you, maybe there's somewhere else on your screen. But all right, so we hit we hit uh, <coughs> we go on ahead and we can just hit it and uh, it won't come up again. It, it, after we've rebuilt it here, so let's say we change this like hello YouTube. And then it's going to rebuild. And we, we get the same thing, but we don't get that dialog box that comes up. Now what will happen is here, let's say I, uh, let's say I say, uh, I am forever smart 88. But let's say I forget to have an error here. Let's say I forgot to put a semicolon or something. And I go to press start debugging. It says there were build errors. Would you like to continue and run the last build here? So these are errors here. We'll get these a lot. If you've never programmed before, again, I mean, you'll get them a lot. And if you've been programming for a long time, you'll still get them a lot. But, the, you know, we'll, we'll see what. Alright. So we get this here. This says, hello, YouTube. Well, I said, I changed the text here. Well, let's look again here. Well, because I, I, it already built the last project that was actually successfully built here. There's an error here, so it's going to run the last successful build. So I want to hit no here. Let's say I fix this error here. Put a semicolon here. When I click build here, or I start debugging here, it'll rebuild the project. It'll rebuild the project. And it'll run this one, so... Now I believe we do go over uh, what's going on inside the project here in a later tutorial. So if I go to my computer here and I go to the, the place where uh, where my uh, project is here, what do I call it? I call it beginner errors. Now look, we have all this, when we create a project here, we have all this stuff. In uh, this case, my project happens to be beginner errors. That's the name of it. Well, it doesn't just create a file. It creates a folder with multiple files in it. So if we click on another folder that's also called beginner errors, we'll see this. Then we click on debug here. We'll see all this stuff here. Here, uh, wait, is it in here? Or let's just click on the first debug. I'm sorry. And then we here's our uh, project that it builds. This is our program that the computer can understand as a program. Which is a file type, and it's a .exe file type. If you're curious. But the main thing is that I wanted to get across is um, when you click build here, we we'll get a program here. Now if we uh, type in something different, uh. Just uh, errors here. And when we click the start debugging here, there were builders you want to continue on the last build. You normally want to hit no. And these will be you'll, you'll see these all the time. So don't worry about them. Just click no. And uh, let's say uh, let's say I uh, get this and I say do not show this dialog again. 
that would you like to continue on the last build? Let's see, I hit yes here. And I get this one here. Now if I hit hit this again here, you know, it'll just keep on running the last build here. Which is not good. You know, but if you 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 won't know if it's you won't know if there's an error in this or not here. So let's say I wanted to change this here. What's going on here? And then now then you still get the same project error here. It says what's going on here. Well, you won't know if you get to some minute changes or you run it, you, you come across some things that are going on behind the scenes. You won't know if it's going to work or not. So what you do if you accidentally click that here, just to keep things simple, go to tools, go to settings, and then go to reset and click OK. Now when we go to debug this here, we'll get the same options that come up here. So I click this here. It says what's going on here. Here let me uh, let me change this. I'm gonna get rid of this question mark. Now it's going to rebuild the project here. I still get this out of date thing. I'm just going to go ahead and click do not show this again. And I get these things here. See, I don't know why these come up. That's for me. I don't, if they might not come up for you. I never got them before. But I just close them. Because I really don't need them right now. Because I don't know what they are. But uh, actually, they just... Okay. So there are build errors and I get these again. I want to hit no. And I want to try to look for my error here. Now the thing about errors is here, let's say I, I click this again, it says there were errors here. It will give you hints on where the error is. It says it's missing a semicolon. So okay. And this this, this is also a big hint too. The, and the previous uh, compilers, the 2008 Ex Express Edition, it doesn't have all these squigglies that tell you the possibilities of what's going on here. In this case it happens to be above it. Which is this, this sin.get operator which is going to pause the program so or if I uh, let's say I'm missing a if I'm missing this here let's see what comes up it says there are build errors and it says it's missing a it says syntax error here missing a semicolon somewhere because it thinks this is still part of the text here let me uh, go ahead and put it here Let's say I don't have this one here. Let's see what errors we get. Now it doesn't always tell you. And it has no idea what's going on. Because it thinks this is all some kind of command that hasn't been established yet. But In general, you can use these errors here to help you what's going on here. In this case, we have 12 different... We have like three different errors. But if you just look at the first one here... In this case, it doesn't tell us about the quote because... It's coming out of a library. We're not going to go over that yet. But usually, just look at. Don't try to fix all the errors here. Just try to fix the first one and rebuild it. Usually, if you fix if you fix one of it for if you fix the first error, you can clear up a uh, twelve errors because the compiler was misunderstanding what was going on because of that first error. Then you might only have four errors next. So you can just use that little window and just fix the first error. If you have two different errors, just fix the first one that comes up. So you would scroll up here and fix the first one that comes up. And uh, then you'd rebuild it again and then see what other errors you get. Because you might get new errors. You might get, you'll clear up uh, a good deal of errors. Okay, so that's what I have here. So just be aware of the errors here. And I want to wrap this up.